Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. Two of Excel's collaboration tools are the ability to embed notes and to embed threaded comments on a worksheet. Notes are like yellow stickies that pop up, and you can enter freeform text into them. The notes could be just for yourself, or they could be for other people. Comments are a little different. They're specifically meant to be discussions between two or more people. Unless you enjoy talking to yourself, well, I don't know. Notes and comments have a few simple management features that help you use them, and you can also make them printable a couple of different ways. So let's take a look and see how it works. Let's start by looking at notes. On the ribbon bar, I'm going to go to the review tab. And you see a little to the right of center, we have choice for notes. I'll click that drop down. We have a bunch of options. And I can choose new note, but I have to be careful where on the worksheet I am because notes are attached to cells. And maybe I want to put in some notes regarding these total amounts. So I need to click on one of them. So let's say I'll click on the second one there. And I'm going to go to notes, new note, and I'm going to say something like, and notice that it also has my name there because that's the name that I'm signed into Microsoft Office with. I'm going to click away and you notice the note disappears, of course, but now in the cell, you see there's that little red marker and you notice when I roll the mouse pointer over the cell, the yellow sticky comes up. When I roll away, it disappears. Let's put in a, a couple more. Let's see, uh, maybe I'll go to France, go to notes, new note, click away from it. And let's say, I don't know, I'll just click here. That Netherlands, I'll just say, I'll put in a new note. And I'm going to say, okay, so I've got three cells with notes. I can roll over any of those and see what that note is. Now, if I have a lot of notes, Excel will let me bounce from one to the other. So I go up here and click that drop down for notes. I could choose next note and next and next. So that, that way, if I don't see them immediately. If I don't really see where they are, maybe it's a big worksheet that will uh, bring me to them. Or of course, I could go to previous notes. If I want to edit one of them, let's say I want to edit this one here, I could go in there and choose edit note, whatever it is, and then I'm done. What if I want to see all of the notes at once rather than having to cherry pick each one? Go up to notes and you see where it says show all notes and now I can see them. Well, what about printing out? First, let's go and see show all notes is highlighted. I'm going to unhighlight it. So I'm going to press in Windows Control P or on the Mac, I press Command P. That brings me into the print dialog box. Now you don't see any of the notes and you see down here on bottom, this is page one of one. So the options for printing out notes, you see down at the very bottom, we've got this little tiny unobtrusive page setup link. So I'm going to click that that brings me to the page setup dialog box. We have four tabs across the top. I'm going to go to the sheet tab and you see this comments and notes. Right now it's not printing any. I click that drop down and I could display them, let's say at the end of the sheet. Click OK. Now you notice this indicates there's two pages. Now we still don't see anything on this page, but when I go to the second page, this shows me, OK, here's the cell. Here's who wrote it. Here's what that note was. The page itself is unaffected. What if I want the notes to print out like they are displayed on the sheet? Well, first, let me just, I'll hit escape. I'll go back in there. I'm going to go back to notes, show all notes. Now let's go back to the print dialog box, right? Control P or Command P on the Mac. Go back down on the left side, click page setup, go to the sheet tab, and Instead of at the end of sheet, I'm going to choose as displayed on the sheet. Notice that's for notes only. Click OK. And there they are. That's how they are displayed on the sheet. Notice those were not there until I actually made that choice. Because by default, the notes will not print out. So let's take a look at comments. Go back in there. I'm going to hide the notes. Just like notes, comments also get attached to cells. And let's say I want to put the comments, maybe not in cell of the worksheet. Maybe I want to put them out here a little bit. Now I'm just going to click on this cell there at random. 
and I'm still in the review tab on the ribbon bar, I choose new comment. And again, I'm logged in under my real name. So it has my name, has my picture there and start a conversation. And I'll say, and after I type my comment, click the little paper airplane and there it is. Now, somebody who is working with me on this can now reply. Well, I don't have that other person sitting right here at my desk, so I'm going to be pathetic and reply to myself. So I'm going to click there and reply and say something like right there and hit the little paper airplane. So now we have these comments going back and forth. Notice I'm still selected in that cell. If I click off that cell, the comments go away. And just like with the notes, if I roll over the cell, the comments come out. If I roll away, the comments disappear. If I want to continue editing, I don't just roll over the cell. I click it and now I can continue replying and all that. If I want to delete one of the comments, I could go and delete. If I want to edit, I can do that. Let's talk about printing out. So right now I'm going to choose show comments. Notice that the comments go on the right side. Comments never get displayed on the worksheet like that if they are permanent. They are only displayed inside the worksheet when you are rolling over that particular cell. Let's go back to the print dialog box. And I don't see any notes or any comments. Notice this is the only page. So I'm going to go back here to page setup. I go back to the sheet tab where it says comments and notes. I'm going to choose an end of sheet. So you see where it says is displayed on sheet. That's notes only. That's what I was saying before. The comments never get displayed on the sheet itself. So I'm going to choose an end of sheet. Click OK. Now you see there's two pages all of a sudden. Let's go to the second page. And this is showing me the notes that we had before, but on top, these are the comments. And the cell that it's attached to, who wrote it, what the comment was, the date and the time, and all of that stuff. Let's go back to the sheet. And let's say I have another cell that has a whole slew of comments. I'll just turn that off for the moment. So maybe I'll, I don't know, go down a little farther there. I could have another new comment. That little paper airplane. I'll go down here. I'll add one last one. And again, just like with notes, we can roll over any of these. We can have a whole threaded discussion, each of them completely independently uh, of each other. If I want to see all of the comments, go back to show comment. And this is like where we were before. Notice this purple line. So this is showing me the three different comment threads. Close that. And also let's click back on the top here. And just like, remember with notes, I showed you how we could bounce from the first to the second and third, or we could go in reverse order. It's the same thing with comments. I could go to the next comment and the next and the next, or I could go to previous, etc. cetera. Uh, let's say uh, maybe this third one, I don't want that anymore. I don't need it. So I could just click it and hit delete. And these other two are unaffected. So you can see notes and comments work similarly to each other, but they don't really interact. If you use Adobe Acrobat, these features might look familiar. Adobe has pretty much the same things, which I think might be where Microsoft got the ideas. So what happens when you export an Excel file containing notes or comments to a PDF? The best that can happen is that they get published the way you see them on a printout. There isn't any direct way of converting Excel's notes and comments to Acrobat's notes and comments. So until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.